Hey guys, how we doing? <laughs> oh, this is a little bit unexpected. I've taken my little boy and my other half out for a little, just a play about session. And uh, dropped onto a bit of sand. And as you can see, I'm a little bit all over the place at the minute because I put a mackerel bait down, basically a turbot rig, in the hope of a ray. And I haven't even finished setting my rod up yet. And I'm gonna try and hand this off to my other half. And we've hooked something that's big. It's, it's running now. It's, it's, it, this, whatever this is, is a good size. And I just can't, I don't want to stop it too much because it's running. Uh, this, is, uh, this is a nice fish. I didn't expect this, Not, it's almost instant this was. I'm gonna go slow because I've only got 30 pound mono on it. I'm gonna try and tighten up a little bit. There you go, gain a bit on it now. And it's got on a big run then. I'm just trying to get his head up. And I've got this is a hang and hold job. I looked over and I thought I was I thought I was snagged up. And it was just gone. But this is uh, the 1220 ugly stick. And we've got a pen scroll on. And this is this is making it. There we go, I think we've got the beating of him now. <laughs> First cast down and we're into something lovely. And I think it's a ray. There is some smooth round about and some tote, but it did run. And ray, rays don't always tend to run, so there is a chance this could be a smooth round. But this is lovely. This is going to be a nice fish. I had to hang and hold there just to get the better of it. And it's coming up now. It's a lovely, lovely fish, whatever it is. I'm so we'll get to see it at least. We're making gains on it now though. My little boy is in his own little world down here, just sleeping. <laughs> I'm oblivious to what's going on. This is little Hunter with me. I'll show you him in a minute. But this here is straight away into a lovely fish. This is a mackerel fillet. It's just a turbot rig. I've got a video on it. I'll put a link in the description. A bit like the other day when I was congering, I looked over and the rod was hooped over. I was like, oh man, I thought I'm in a snag, but it was running. Here we come. Wow. Ellie, can I have a net, please? Yeah, of course. Where is it? It's right on the other side of the boat. It's a big form back ray. It's huge. Now, Ellie, you're going to net this for me. Okay, two it's, it's tail wrapped. Okay, you can hook this up. Wow, that's massive. And Ellie's just done a brilliant job of netting it for me. And I'm going to try and bring it over here around the corner. Out of way. That is a lovely. Oh my God, that's a big fish. Can you sit right? Oh, no, it's okay. Oh, right. Wow. That's huge. It's upside down at the minute, but that has taken that. Can I find the camera off of there, please, Ellie? Quick, just unclip it from the crocodile clip. <laughs> All right. First fish of the day. And as you can see, that I'll put it on the bait table. That is a 6 0 Varavas circle hook, and that's gone right in the jaw. I'll get it out and I'll have a look for you. I might even weigh this. Oh, it's a bit before steps. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. This is why you don't get your fingers near that mouth because that is there you go, there's the hook. 6-0 Varavas circle hook, and I'm just gonna plonk that out of the way for a second. And then that there Woo! is an absolutely cracking form back ray. That's huge, look at his spikes. That there, yeah. This is a form back ray, lovely colours at the minute. Now these are absolutely deadly. If you look at that tail, that there is a set of form bush roses almost. That you can stroke them that way. If you go that way, down with them, as Ellie's going to demonstrate, Ooh. they're perfectly fine. But if you go the other way, they are horrible. That there though is a lovely ray. Oh uh, no, it's not bad for the first fish. Woo! Yeah. Off it goes. Boom. Awesome, thanks buddy. Yeah, teamwork. Hi. <laughs> hey, welcome to the Amity Angler. Um, it's a lovely sunny day today and depending on how I've edited this you might see the fish first or you'll see this first um, but we popped out we've got it's a lovely sunny day so I've just come out with Ellie pop in say hello Ellie come in there's Ellie my partner and my little boy Hunter is down here as well my oldest Murphy who you've seen before is in Disneyland at the minute so he's having a little time over there so we're using this time to come out and have a bit of fun on some sand and we've actually got a bite on the other little rod that left hand rod Ellie's got a fish on yeah I think so yeah, we're having a bit of fun out here. 
basically I've got a big bait out, um, a turbot rig. We're not targeting turbot, but it also picks up skate and other bits of bobs and, and the rest of it. So I turned around when I was setting up my other little rods and my bigger rod was hooped over and it was, it, it was running. Um, as you've just seen, we've got a lovely form back ray on it. And I've just seen a little bite on this rod here, but it looks a bit shallow now. No, nothing there, flick it back out again. Yeah, so essentially what we're doing, we're just potting about on some sand, enjoying the weather and a nice day. Um, and we're gonna see what we pick up. There we go, so that was the rig we used earlier for the ray. This is actually my turbot rig. Um, 6 Varavas circle hook on the end there. Little fillet of mackerel. And then I like to put six to eight little loomy beads, the sort of the float stop size ones. And a little blade place spinner there just above the hook. And then I have a length of 30 pound fluoro, go into your standard little little um your little boom and i like a little watch there but i'm doing my ray and turbot fishing just because i like those and that's it and then just drop that down at the bottom and we just pull it along in the tide that's it really that's what we put the ray up on that's the exact rig that i'll be using when i'm turbotting and um it doesn't really get any easier than that really just drift it along the sand and the banks and you just fish but it's not tearing here we are only out here for a play i didn't care if we caught nothing today but we have had that nice ray, it was eight, eight pound, 15, so it was an ounce under, a, ounce under nine pound, and we've had that nice little place. We're just waiting for Ellie to catch something, and our day stays sort of complete. Well, we've got a fish on the small lurks now. Really rattly bite, it feels a bit like a gurnard. Well, it's a nice gurnard if it is. Yeah, it feels a bit like a gurnard. Well, let's soon find out. It's got a little bit of weight to it. I might have picked up my other line actually saying that. That might be why. Oh no. I have got a fish on here, but I think I might have. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I don't think I have. I don't know. Where you go? It's a lovely place. Oh, nice. Come. I'll bring it in. And there we go. That's a good sign. Not it's a bad huge. place. This is just on twisted booms. But it's not even that, it's on two, two droppers. I've got a floating bead on that one, so that was actually, that actually would have been a bit higher, but it's a lovely little place for what we're doing. We are fishing on some sand ripples now, so we are targeting the, the rays and also the gurnards, but I haven't got place rigs on, so I wasn't really expecting this. It's just a two, two hook dropper, just on some old 30 pound mono, and a tiny little two ounce triangle weight at the bottom. And that's what we got. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely place. Actually quite thick that one. And we're gonna put that back. There we go, I'll just show you that rig again a bit more in close up. So it's just a, a little tiny swivel on the top and obviously I've got a clip swivel on the actual braided line. And it's just a length of 30 pound mono, two dropper loops in the 30 pound mono, and in a little, uh, little quick link at the bottom with a little two ounce bomb. It is a 6.2 tide today, which is actually quite, you know, it's quite a modest tide that. But because we're fishing such light gear on the, the Akuma Helios, you know, 20, 60 gram spinning rods, and we're using tiny little braid, you can get away with fishing light gear like this. That's why I quite enjoy doing it. Um, I've got a little floating bead on that one, because this is actually a bream rig, but I'll catch it on the sand out here, hoping for a gurnard. But obviously the place has uh, decided it wants a bit of it as well. So. We'll keep going, hopefully Ellie can get some fish as well. She has dropped one, but we'll keep going. Then in there, it's not making much, that's it, that's it, and again. There you go, Ellie's finally got her fish. <laughs> and this is steaming off this one, she has got her drag a little bit loose though. Oh, Christ, we've got the camera, she's got a place as well. Hey, nice. There we go. One. Got a baby place, swing it in, baby. There we go, Ellie's got her place as well, and that's perfectly hooked as well. Hold it up for us. <laughs> Well done, Ellie. Nice. One. Well, we just, Ellie's just had that place. We had a massive set of bubbles go through. And the only thing that really does out of the seal or a dolphin, they're proper bubbling up. And then I suddenly got a big pile on this rod. <laughs> I'm hoping it's not one of those two, but. Can you imagine? <laughs> fish on here, guys, fish on. Hold up, this is gonna be something. Oh, there's something down there playing with this. Uh, a big, big set of bubbles went past. It was, it was, it was nothing else other than a seal or a porpoise or something along those lines. Proper big, 
wailing set of bubbles and then um, I started getting a bite on this rod so yeah so that'll be interesting uh, but yeah no, I think we had a, a, a ray moving onto the bait there I might have gone a bit early with it but we'll leave it there anyway and have a look we'll see what happens my boy's just down here in his own little world on the floor but yeah a lovely little bite out of the corner of my eye there so fingers crossed for another ray go on So the cracking bite of my place, well it might still be there. In fact, I think it is still there, yeah, only a small one. So the cracking bite out of the corner of my eye, and I... Oh yeah, it's still there. I'll be woken up now, let's see what this is. That's another little place, I'll tell you what, for, for not place fishing, we're doing alright, the camera's a little bit... <laughs> the camera's a little bit out of sync around at the minute. Yeah, another little tiny place. Oh, the baby. Little tiny baby place, this one. in the bottom of the jaw. Excuse the radio. Have a little baby one. That's on a size uh that's a size two cox and wall crab okay. And again that's come on the floating B which meant that would have been slightly off the bottom. But yeah they're getting coming on the feed now these place. We did miss a nice bite on the ray rig a minute ago as well so hopefully we get some stuff. Just suddenly went dead, and this is my first smooth round. Wait, have a look, please, baby. Yeah, of course. There we go, another species for the day. I'm gonna. I don't wanna. In fact, I will lift him in. Try, I'll lift him in. I'll lift him in. So he's been playing about with it for a little while. So I know about the next one. Sure. Yeah. There we go. Oh, look at him. And this here is our first smooth round of the year. There's two, another set of species today. There we go, look. Only a baby. It just picked that up last minute. I was just, we're just about to move marks. Um, yeah, we're just about to move marks. And I saw a couple of nudges on the rod. And I thought, well, I'll get this one in first and see what's what, because place, the place rod's out behind me. But again, that's fallen to the turbot rig. So a couple of loomy beads, little flash of spoon, and then a 6-0 Varavash circle hook. and. That there, I don't know if I see how well you can make it out, but it's hooked perfectly in the corner again. Just in the corner of the mouth. I do love these circle hooks when I'm doing this fishing. Get it out of there like that. And that there really is like a little shark, isn't it? There you go. Wow. Little baby one. They get well, in, well into double figures, these things, but that's not a bad little fish. And it's another one for the species card. Tough old trip for Hunter, he's knackered, look at him. <laughs> uh, there we go, couple of hours out with the family. Myself, Ellie and little boy Hunter, who's we've spent the day down here on the deck. It's a lovely, glorious sunny day. Um, good couple of species though, we've had a place, smooth round, and we've had a lovely form back ray. He went an ounce under nine pound on the scales. So it was a lovely fish, first fish as well, first drop. So that weren't a bad way to start the day. I was hoping we were going to have a couple more of those Ray, but it just didn't turn out. But um, it is what it is. I came in sure to have a little look at a reef mark, but one of the reasons why I don't like coming out of weekends is it's just boats everywhere down here. It's They're all anchored up on the little reef mark, so you can't drift them. I'm not going to go in there and anchor them today. I'm just having some fun with the family, so nothing too serious today. But the weekends are packed. You've got jet skis bombing around here. You've got boats that are making really loud noises, which is fine, but it's just why i don't like fishing weekends we had a pan pan from a guy down the road at shoreham as well um couldn't get his anchor he had no power and he was going to hit the pier down there and he couldn't throw his anchor in because he couldn't have a couldn't get out the wind last and didn't have a spare obviously so he's now being towed into shoreham but weekends are just chaos which is why generally when i'm doing my serious fishing i won't be out here unless i'm way offshore which I wasn't doing today. But thanks for watching. It's been a good fun day. And uh, Ellie's going to try and snaffle a few more out at a shot. But uh, other than that, we're going to go indoors. So catch you all soon.